Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I thought of doing an English slash Tagalog slash Bisaya, Bisayan video. It's because first of all, English is not my first language, so I'm not very fluent with that. And also, I'm not very fluent in speaking Tagalog. I may have a distinct Bisaya accent because I am from Cebu and I am 100% Bisaya. So actually, when we went to Manila, I brought three makeup bags with me. It's because um, we were attending my cousin's wedding, so we really had to do makeup. Plus, I had to do makeup on myself and on my mom. So that's why I got all of these products right here. So let's get into the first bag. I got this bag when I went to Hong Kong last February 2013. I got this from Ocean Park and it's very cute because it has little pandas on it. And I also got this uh, key holder. Okay, so let's start. The first thing inside my makeup bag is the Benet Luxury Powder. But by the way, most of my makeup are on this bag right here. I like that um, powder because it's gamit siya sa maraming skin tones. The next one is my favorite lashes. These are the Taiwan Lashes in 163. I only have one pair left. And then the next one is my eyeshadow palette. This is the Beach Cosmetics 88 color palette. I love this because I only have to take one palette and I can choose a lot of looks to wear from this palette. Okay, so the next one is a mirror, just a mirror. And then I have a concealer palette which I use, I think, on my previous video. I'm not very sure, but yeah, I think I used it on my bridal series. So this is very convenient because I can address a lot of shades and then I also have correct uh, color correctors and also a highlighter over here. And by the way, the coverage of those concealers in there very good coverage is very good okay so next I have my L'Oreal true match super blendable powder in W8 and W7 and if you have been watching my videos you know that I use both of these to contour and highlight the next ones are my Mac studio fix foundations in NC25 and NC40 and I also have my L'Oreal True Match uh, foundation in W6. I just love this foundation. It is very good on photos and very light on the skin. Coverage, by the way, is medium to heavy. Medium to full. Medium to heavy. I also have the Maybelline Clear Smooth BB Cream 8-in-1 Skin Transformer. I brought this for days when la lang, gala gala lang. I don't want to uh, wear a heavy foundation or foundation when just going out when there is no occasion because that's just too heavy for me. And plus, this also has an SPF 26, so that's great. Okay, so the next product is my MAC Margin Blush. I brought this because I used this on my mom. Very nice on my mom's skin. Plus, it's shimmery, so nakaka-add ng glow. Speaking Tagalog is really weird because I am not really used to it, but I'll get used to it. So, I also brought my favorite highlighter which is the City Color Intense Exposure Highlighter. It's just very pigmented and for the price talagang sulit siya. See that? Very pigmented. 
plus it's cruelty free sorry for my nails by the way I had them done two weeks ago when we were um, leaving for Manila so chip na siya ngayon the last two items that I got inside my bag brush cleaner this is not alcohol this is brush cleaner this is the mat brush cleaner and then the bed knife final seal this is a setting spray especially when Bay takes you swimming on your first date so okay so let's move on to the next makeup bag this one right here this this one contains most of my brushes and also some makeup so these are the brushes that I brought with me. They are Sigma because I love Sigma brushes. They are inexpensive but they are very good. I actually like them better than the MAC ones. This one is MAC and it's just, I don't know, I just like these ones better. So these are my brushes. I also have the Laura Mercier ones. This one is for concealer and this one is for powder. It says camouflage powder. I also love the Laura Mercier brushes. And I also have the Beauty Cosmetics brushes. This one and this one. These are Beauty Cosmetics brushes. Yeah, these are all the brushes that I with me to Manila. Okay, let's move on. I also have my Benai Luxury Powder in Cameo, and then I also have two eyeshadows right here. This is the this is a Benefit eyeshadow. I forgot the shade, but maybe it's a latte shade. Oh, I can't remember and this is the MAC espresso so I just place it in there so I can take two eyeshadows in one container next one is my MAC redhead velux brow liner okay. so the next one is my lash, ma uh, lash curler um, what I like about this one is yung hindi siya kagaya ng traditional na meron siyang um, bars dito. So, minsan hindi ka siya yung length ng lashes ko. So, ito kahit hindi ka siya, okay lang. Hindi siya parang kumaganon. Yun yung Ewan ko. Alam niyo na yun. So, next is my Ally Girl Gel Liner. In very black. Shadow painted dito. Can you see me sweating on camera? I hope you can. I'm sweating. Okay. So, the next item is the Bobbi Brown Rich Lip Color in Soft Coral. For days na wala lang gusto kong fresh lang na look and then my Maybelline cray crayon liner in black I'm not really sure what the name of the shade is but it is black and then my ever Belena pure white eyeliner which I am wearing right now and then my L'Oreal my L'Oreal brow artist designer pro uh, um, brow liner in dark brown. So, ito yung ginamit ko sa um, eyebrow tutorial ko. But now, I'm using the light brown kasi I had my hair colored and this just won't fit anymore. And then, my Fashion 21 eyebrow gel in dark brown which I used on my mom. And then, my Nichido 
lip pencil in rosette which is my favorite lip pencil to date and then lastly my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. So this is very convenient because it's a And by the way, I also have in this pocket tala, my eyelash glue, which is the Nichido one. I love, I love it so much. Ito lang talaga yung eyelash glue na love na love ko. Kasi I I've already tried the duo one, yung black lash adhesive. It's very messy. Tapos black pa. So it messes up your eyeshadow. And then I've also tried the white one. Pareho sila. Matagal silang mag dry. So you have to wait for a long time before you can actually put the lashes on. So, mm, ito yung gusto ko sa eyelash adhesive na container. Yung may applicator na ganito. Kasi you, you can control the product. Pag kasi yung tube minsan pag squeeze mo ganon, maraming lumalabas, tapos maraming nasasaya. And I also have my pencil sharpener. That's all for this bag. Let's move on to the last makeup bag. So itong makeup bag ko, I got this from Laura Mercier. Actually, it came with a undercover pot that has two concealers and powder. Tapos Isang primer, isang tinted moisturizer, tsaka yung mga brushes. I think yun lang. So, ito yung bag ko na dinadala for touch-ups. So, so, the first item is my Mary Kay um, powder compact. I've already hit pan on this one. I really like this kasi nga sa packaging which I already mentioned in my previous video. So, nagagamit mo siya ulit. So, you will just take this off. Hindi ko na mabilang kung ilang powders nang nagamit ko or na-refill ko. Pero, I always use this one because it's very sheer. It's very good for touch-ups. Hindi siya nag-cake kasi very sheer nga. And the consistency, yung feel niya, very smooth talaga as in. I like it very much. May sponge compartment siya, but what I do is I put my blushes in here para hindi na akong maraming masyadong para hindi na ako masyadong maraming dala. My God! Tagalog pa yun ha. Hirapan pa. Okay, so I have here the shy blush and the pink petals. And then I have here my brow makeup. So I've already gone a few shades lighter than my my actual brow color. So I got the light brown na L'Oreal Brow Artist kapareha ng kanina. And then I got the fash ah, eyebrow gel na Fashion 21 in copper. So gusto ko siya kasi it's very um matchy matchy sa hair color ko. I mean, meron kasi sometimes yung yung hair color is too light and then the brow color is too dark. Parang weird thing yun. Okay. So, the next item is my favorite of all time concealer. My Laura Mercier Undercover Pot. Perfect siya for traveling because you already get the camouflage, the secret um, concealer, and then the powder. Dito sa baba. Next item is my box of mascara, my favorite. Very black. Blackest black pala. <laughs> okay, the next one is my smooth case lip butter. Um, hindi na ko babalik sa Maybelline after I've tried this one. It's very nice lips talaga. If you have dry and cracked lips, you might want to try this one. It's not that expensive. I actually got this on sale. So, the next one is my Bobbi Brown um, lipstick. The other one is soft coral and this one is in Rose Blossom. I love the Bobbi Brown's formula. Para siyang matte, pero hindi siya nakaka-dry. It's very pigmented. Yung intensity ng color, it's very rich. Kaya nga, rich lip color eh. Pero hindi siya nakaka-dry. 
like the matte um, lipsticks. I also have the um, MAC Please Me. This is matte. Ito nakaka dry to over time. Uh, two hours or three hours. Like the dry na yung lips mo. So you have to reapply it with a uh, lip balm or lip gloss. I'm actually wearing it right now. Kaso kalalagay ko lang. So that's why it's not very drying yet. And I also um, applied Smooth Kiss. The, the Victoria's Secret Smooth Kiss Glossy Lip Butter. So that's why hindi pa siya to dry until now. My Sparkle Gloss, again from Victoria's Secret, which I have already talked about in a haul video, so you might want to check that out. And then my brush, na pang retouch ko. I have here my brow razor, then my MAC lip pencil in spice. I also like this pencil, yung mga MAC lip pencil kasi pag um, pwede mo siyang i-apply on their own so they will look like a lipstick without drying your lips. Actually, mas gusto ko pa itong mga lip pencils nila kesa sa matte lipsticks. Kasi yung matte lipsticks nila talaga nakaka-dry. Ewan ko lang, maybe it's just um, sa akin lang or I'm not sure. Pero bakit hindi siya nag-dry when I use the lip pencil? Um, actually, these are very comfortable to wear compared to the matte lipsticks nila. Okay, the next items are my brow scissors and pullers, tweezers. Tweezer ba ito? Or puller? Puller ito eh. Puller. I have my eye drops. Eye fresh. Sterile ophthalmic solution eye lubricant. Kasi I have dry eyes eh. Pag nagda-dry kasi yung eyes ko, kumakate siya. As in, super duper kate na parang gusto ko na lang siya ang kamutin, ang kamutin, ang kamutin. Super kate. And this is very cheap for an eye lubricant. 90 yata itong ganito. Tapos 10 ml na siya. Hindi siya madaling maubos. And then I just have a fashion necklace which I don't really use pero gusto ko lang siyang ilagay dito. Hindi ko pa to siya nagagamit actually. <laughs> pero pag cute siya. Magaling siya dito. And that sums up my what's in my travel makeup kits video. I hope you like it. Comment if you want to see more of these videos. Please subscribe. And then also add me on social media. I will put all the details of my social media accounts below, so check that out. And by the way, also check my own blog, ko, guys. It's www.theuniondiaries.com. My videos on YouTube will be uploaded there too. And I think that's it. I'm also just wearing t-shirts because it's very late. I slept like only three hours because I didn't adjust the sleeping pattern because I have a job now and I promise to fight for this and keep uploading videos even if I'm super tired. You, you can tell right now maybe that I have bad dark eye circles. I've already applied concealer but I feel like they're still showing. Wala na akong magagawa dyan. Anyway guys, thank you very much. And I hope to see you guys next week. Bye!